hello and welcome back so in this video i am going to try something just uh, for the sake of me recording what i'm doing and uh, basically i'm sick of uh, this window like this size you can see this one it's very small and i wanted to find a way to make it bigger i went to display and s uh, first thing i tried i thought maybe it's the basic and enhanced session because in windows enhanced session you can resize the window it wasn't the case i went into displays uh it's stuck to four by three ratio that i don't like it so i search on the right side you can see i have this if i can show you this link here uh this is the one that i want uh during the search and uh and this is what I'm trying to do uh, there is an answer somebody posted I'm gonna try it and see if it works or not I'm just making this video for my sake that uh, I can track back if I follow the instructions completely or not uh, so let's go ahead and try this it's talked about go to the happy when you terminal type the below command line sudo vi slash xc slash default slash grub oh i typed grub control c to exit out of it Type QA and press enter to exit. Oh. oh god, control X, control O. I messed it up, right? Let's uh, see. What? Close terminal, open a new one. That's why I hate. Uh... Oh. First, that's why I hit the command line of the typos I make. Second, I forgot to notice that in the command it says V. So V is a basically a text editor. I'm so used to nano. Okay, so next thing is, you could use nano. Go to this line, grub cmd line Linux. That would be this one, I believe. Good splash. Okay, is it I or what? Come on. Okay, so we're gonna click here. No. Do we have to? So. Splash. Okay. Nope. Was that I? Nope. Oh yes, that was I. So by pressing I, you can start editing the um, document. Now what it wants is to put uh, video is equal to Hyper V video is equal to hyper v underscores fp no idea what fp stands for 1920 x 1080 i hope there are no typos hyper v fp 1920 okay now type save your file type okay here goes nothing w kill what happened ah hmm ah oh, shoot again i we're gonna delete it oh okay you can see no let's remove this okay go all the way down uh, 
LBQ, enter, and you're out of it. Okay, now sudo update grub. Okay, it's updating. And finally, we need to reboot. Sudo. Oh, that was easy. So far, let's reboot. <laughs> oh, yes, it worked. You can see it's already a bit bigger. Not a bit bigger, a lot bigger. I just hope I it's not uh, out of my uh, like this side it probably is a little bit but yeah I'm happy with the results and shit Uh-oh. All right, so now all I have to do is, maybe it's too big. I can go see the downs over there. Uh, is there a way to resize this? Not really. So basically those four arrows down there, I can see them. I probably can auto hide this taskbar if I can. Nope, oh, okay. Auto, nope, task. Can I do right side? If I do right side, actually I still don't have access to those uh, four tiny. I'll have to find another way, right? Maybe I can search or go to settings i can always use these settings so i'll live with i'll live with this and you can see scale if i apply 100 percent and reverse settings we don't want that 100 percent is fine okay order right what happens there? Reverse settings. All right, so you can see resolution has changed. Night light and all that good stuff. I'm still missing those four buttons that I really would like up here. Probably I can't. I can add anything here but let's let, let's wrap this video here I, I will poke around and uh, see what uh, how to customize I hope this video has helped you it definitely did to me thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one